Hi, and welcome to the show. This is Chatting with Sarah over coffee, and I am your host, Sarah. And today we're going to talk about birthdays. Because last week was my birthday, and I was, it just, it wasn't the best birthday I've ever had. And I was just reminiscing over years and how your birthdays uh, change as you grow up and as you get older. And sometimes they're fantastic and sometimes they're just like a normal day. But when you're a kid, it's it's all great. You're all excited for your birthday, all waiting for all the presents that you're going to get. Um, and all, seeing all family members and everything like that. Um, and if you were lucky to have a party as a kid, you're always looking for the birthday party. Um, but as you grow older, yeah, you just start reminiscing over the years. And well, I don't know, maybe I'm different, but I do. Well, I, I was very much this year um, sitting there reminiscing over past birthdays and just think of how they differ uh, when you're a kid to as you've grown up. And you always want to grow up. You always want to get to the age 16, 18, 21, so you can go out partying and drinking. And then you get to that age and you just realise it's not as fun as it was made to be. Um, And you wish then when you get a bit older than you wish to, you could go back and be with your friends and have no worries in the world. But we wish it to go by so, so quick and so far. And when it's gone, just wish it hadn't gone that quick. So I was um, reminiscing about was like, I've had some brilliant birthdays. I got engaged on my birthday in 2015 um, in Lanzarote. Um, one of the best holidays we had, and that just wasn't because we got engaged. We got engaged at the end of the holiday, like a day or two before we left. But up until that point, oh, it was we had a, it was lovely. We had uh, two weeks out in Lanzarote, and all oh, the weather was fab, and we'd done a few trips and. Just had a really nice time. It was so chilled. Um, just what you wanted. I, I, it was. It was just lovely. Um, and then yeah, my husband topped it off with, with proposing. Um, so that was and that was brilliant. Uh, I was in uh, Disneyland then a few years later in two thousand and seventeen. Uh, for my birthday, and that was brilliant. Well, only that my dad died a few days before, but we take that out and we're... It was still a good holiday. He wouldn't have wanted it not to have been, so I made it not be. Um, I I went to New York for my 21st, and that was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. Um... Brilliant. We had 10 days in New York it, and we just, oh, we've done loads of things. Um, that was lovely. That was lovely weather. Uh, the smells, I can't even remember the smells of the heat and all, oh, everything. It was, it was just brilliant holiday. Uh, we stayed right on Times Square as well. So when we looked out of our window, you actually saw where the ball drops for New Year. We were that close to Times Square. We were right in the middle of it. Um, Millennium Broadway, I think the hotel was called, and I couldn't recommend that enough. It was lovely, perfect, perfect location, walking distance from everything. Um, we walked the length of Manhattan anyway, I'd say, uh, that holiday. Um, fantastic. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't change any of it um that was a really good holiday that one um i've been in portugal for my birthday um 
again, it was good holiday. That was a good holiday. And then always, when I was a kid, we were always on holiday because it was always when my grandparents took their their leave, and that was always they always on holiday. So I spent more, I spent a lot of holiday uh, my birthday on holiday, just carry van holidays and just anywhere around the country really we, we've been to some nice places um and feel very lucky to have, have to be on holiday who could say they go on holiday for most of their birthdays but then you always kind of come back and it sounds ungrateful but you kind of get disappointed some years when you don't as you grow up especially as I've grown up I've, I've I, you know in the pre- you don't see the family members or you don't get as cool presents or it's like you still want that tenor from from your auntie because you know a tenor is worth more to you as an adult than it is as a kid um uh, yeah it is so different isn't it you just so excited for your presence and then as you grow up yeah you just it takes a different tone. Sometimes they're depressing. You realise them, especially when family members have gone. Especially now, I've, uh, my nan, granddad, and my father are, are gone, and they were alive for. Uh, well, my father was for twenty five years. Twenty six years he was here for. And then my grandparents were here for 31 years of my life. And to have them all gone, it's hard. I I must admit, they they were heavily on my mind this year. And, yeah, you do miss them. But you get over it. You know, it's it's only a little talk in your head in the day and over it again. And... You carry on with your day and you see everybody then in the evenings and everything. The day can drag, though, I find, as you get older. It's just yeah, you get your Chinese and you see other family members and, and that, that's so, that's fun and everything. And it makes it, it does make the day, but then you think of people that have nobody. I think how boring and that of their day, their birthday must be without having anyone to talk to or to see and for whatever many reasons they are in their circumstances. But then you get others that throw massive parties and at any age and have loads of people around them. And yeah, I just wouldn't want that done myself, to be honest. No, that just, no, I'm not very one much for the limelight or anything like that, I'm very much happy to sit in the background and chill out, cup of tea, have a chat with someone. But I don't need a big audience. I don't need a party all the time. I've, I, although I've never had a, a birthday party, but I'm glad I've never had a birthday party. All the pressure and, oh, no, no, and all the organising and everything. No, that will be for me now. Um, but yeah, how 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 do you all um, celebrate your birthdays, or how do you all feel about your birthdays, especially as you get older and adult life? And do, do you also sit there and reminisce over the years as you get older? Especially when I turned thirty, I I definitely um, reminisced a lot that year when I turned thirty about where I was in my life, where I thought I should be, or where I wanted to be, to where I am. Um, Yeah, there was a lot, like I had a lot of plans. I I met some of the plans I got. I made some of them, but not all the plans. Um, So, yeah, I'd say I shall leave that there. And if you want to tell me how you celebrate your birthday and how you look forward to your birthdays or... Any stories you want to tell, you're more than happy to get in contact and let me know. Um, But until then, I will see you on the next one.